Hey friends, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attempt to hide this mask with makeup and turn it into my face while I tell you a story about a criminal's identity being concealed and that screwing him in the courtroom. So if you're interested, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Lives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here. Frankly, the whole entire thing sucks, but I will teach you how to make the best of this really painful one shot, hopefully one shot deal. Okay, this video was sent to me by my friend Kayla, who's from the Prisoner Family Conference. So really quick, the Prisoner Family Conference happens every year in Dallas in October. We are hoping and praying that it does happen this year. All of this virus stuff and social distancing is behind us. We will know more by August or September, but what I did was went ahead and bought my plane tickets during quarantine with insurance, of course, but I got them for like $150 less than I've ever gotten them before. So Kayla is amazing. She's from the conference and I know she was totally joking and teasing when she sent me this video of this girl who masked her face mask. Wow, say that 10 times fast. She masked her face mask with makeup and she made a whole face. When she sent it to me, she's like, you should try this in your next video, ha ha ha. And I was like, I'm going to actually. However, this makeup artist is insanely talented and then you have look case in point makeup all over my face me i've never been able to contour my nose it just looks like a muddy duddy mess and it makes my nose look bigger every single time i try post two nose surgeries yeah that turned out awful septum issues my whole entire life if you're interested i'll link the video up there while i take off my lipstick so we could do this together and I'll try to tell you that story, although talking in a mask, you know, maybe I didn't think this one through so well, but I'm gonna play that video up there so you can see what it's supposed to look like, and then you can laugh at what it actually does wind up looking like when talented lists, makeup artists lists here gives it a shot. So there you go. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Okay, good enough. I'm just going to put a little bit of this you guys might want to know what this is this is called unpetroleum it's just basically vaseline without petroleum in it i know my friend cat is gonna laugh because i am a nervous lip glosser i'm telling you every single time i get nervous i'm on my way to visit i will gloss my lips fifteen thousand times and at the prisoner family conference i use this and i use this instead of chapstick it's gotten me off chapstick that I was addicted to for many years. So I would pull that out of my bag every five minutes at the Prisoner Family Conference and my friends still tease me about it to this day because literally every year, that's what we do. They watch me do that. Okay. But it does keep your lips nice and moist without the chemicals and the petroleum. So first of all, this is kind of halfway a fail because this is the inside of the mask and it's the white part and this is the outside of the mask and it's the blue part. So I think we're going to do this backwards, but you know, yellow. So... Can you guys still hear me okay? Yeah, you're gonna have to. And this is how I speak to Adam every day because he puts the mask on while he's on the phone. Good boy, because one time I snapped on him. He's like, I gotta take this damn mask off. And I was like, keep it on. Also, please do not come at me about me wasting a surgical mask. I have a whole entire box downstairs and I will gladly rewear this if it works. So first we're gonna take this really old foundation that I never wear because it breaks me out. It was just like a dollar. They sell this at the dollar store. Makeup artists swear by it. That's why I bought it. It is way too dark for my skin. It oxidizes. Since it's going on a mask, I didn't want to waste real foundation because, you know, there's we're in a situation where you can't go to the store and buy yourself more. So let's tell... Oh, I could smell the makeup right through the mask. So let's tell the story of how somebody that I know very well. Guys, this isn't working already. Somebody that I know very well was accused of masking their identity so much that they were unrecognizable in court. 
So here's what happened. First of all, I think what happened is that this makeup artist lied about this working so well. So I told this story a long time ago in the video that I made about Alice Marie Johnson's book called Afterlife or Life After. I think it's called Afterlife. Thank God I'm using old foundation because this is taking a ton. Maybe if I don't open, hold. Maybe that's better. I don't know. What else? So if you're one of my OGs, I'm sure you've heard this story before, but stick around and see how this already disaster of a DIY, IY, whatever, DIY, disaster of a video now because I can't even say DIY, turns out. Do you guys know Adam was arrested? When Adam was arrested, he was arrested on the spot and then went right to jail. And it's not like he had any kind of bond or bail or anything like that. So he was arrested and then had to wait for court. And then he was like offered his pleas and he refused to lie about people he didn't know because what they do, is most of you guys are involved in the prison system. So this is gonna be a repeat or you're gonna be like, hell yes, sister, I know I was there. But what they do for you guys that aren't involved in the prison system is typically the government or the state, depending on what your case is, they will offer you a deal. And usually in that deal, it consists of incriminating somebody else. It consists of, this looks so weird to see myself without my mouth moving, but it can, do you see all that sweat? <laughs> Thank God Shape Tape was on sale last week. It was 50% off, so I got two more for the price of one because <laughs> I'm scared. So usually a deal consists of incriminating or telling on somebody else who was part of your case, was not part of your case, somebody that you don't even know. It just depends on who the feds or the government needs information on, wants information on, what case they wanna close. So that happened to Adam and he was like, no, I'm not going to talk about people that I don't even know. I'm not going to lie about people I don't know to get myself off. I'm guilty of my crime. I will go to trial and fight it because there's things that aren't true that you're accusing me of. Unfortunately, not everybody has that same attitude. I need a different brush. We're just gonna use this one because I'm being lazy. I don't feel like going back in the other room. So Adam was in court and this guy takes the stand. He was a known drug addict who was in jail on some drug charges, clearly wanted off. So they put him on the stand and they asked him to identify Adam. Okay, really quick, this is the part that I'm gonna mess up the most because I can't even contour my real face, let alone a mask, but we're gonna play and pray. That's not working whatsoever. The only thing that's gonna come out of this video is me having to wash my makeup brushes, which is a good thing because they're a disaster. But anyway, this drug dealer guy gets up on the stand and like they knew of each other from the street, but they didn't really know each other, you know? So the judge asks, can you please identify Mr. Clausen. The drug dealer guy says, of course I can. He looks around the courtroom and he goes, uh, there. And he points to Adam's co-defendant. Adam's co-defendant's lawyer hops up and Adam said the lawyer, he called it throwing him some bail. Like he was trying to give Adam a pass here, help him out, even though they knew each other from the street and they were like frenemies. They never really got along, him and the lawyer. It's crazy. They were like all the same age. Some of them went one route, some of them went the other route, but regardless, they didn't get along very well, but the lawyer kind of felt bad for Adam and he was trying to help him out here. My nose looks like a pig, but you know, we're making progress, we're getting there. So co-defendant's lawyer jumps up and he says, that is not my client. My client is not even being indicted on those charges. He was not at that place at this point. This is the second hardest part. Look, my nose keeps falling down. And we're gonna rely on the queen herself, Kylie Jenner with her lip kit. This is the one and only one I have because my sister gave it to me for my birthday. Lord Jesus, help me. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Already messed up. Damn it. <laughs> this is terrible. So the lawyer jumps up and he says, that's not my client. And the judge says, that's okay. Mr. Clausen changed his appearance so much. I shouldn't have put my lips on because now this looks crazy, but he changed his appearance so much that he's unrecognizable. So we need to throw this out. Here's how this turned out. <laughs> Terrible, but 
The only thing that Adam did different for his appearance was that he put on wired framed glasses. But his appearance changed so much that he was unrecognizable. It's on upside down. No, it's on upside down again. My question to you is if I'm recognizable. <laughs> How did I do? You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one.